It's tick season, so let's cut right to the chase. Here's how to safely remove a tick. Use fine tip tweezers to grab the tick as close to the skin surface as possible. Pull upward with steady, even pressure. Avoid twisting or jerking as it can cause the mouth parts to break off and remain in the skin. After removing the tick, clean the area with isopropyl alcohol or soap and running water. Avoid folklore remedies such as nail polish, petroleum jelly, or fire. That's right, forget everything you heard about that stuff. We'll come back to that later. First, what exactly are ticks? And why do they suck? We have the facts. Ticks are small arachnids and they're parasitic. So basically they're super evil spider mosquito hybrids. Spaquitos. Exaggerations aside, these tiny terrors make their living by feeding on the blood of mammals, birds, and reptiles. They hang out on the ends of branches, leaves, and the tips of tall grass so they can grab unsuspecting prey as they walk by. The U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention says tick bites are on the rise. Since 2004, the number of people who have reported a tick-related illness has tripled. Yeah, that's bad, because ticks can spread more than 14 diseases. Deadly ones. Everybody dies, tick. Everybody? Even horses? Yes, horses, everybody. Everybody? Lyme disease is the most common tick-borne illness, with over 30,000 cases reported nationally. And that's a low estimate. Researchers suggest the actual number is closer to 300,000. 95% of all confirmed Lyme disease cases in 2015 stemmed from just 14 states. Yikes. Lyme disease can severely impact your joints, heart, and nervous system. Symptoms include heart palpitations, facial palsy, and arthritis. Great news! There's a vaccine for dogs, but not for humans. GlaxoSmithKline released a vaccine for humans in 1998. It had an 80% success rate, but some people reported symptoms similar to Lyme disease. After months of lawsuits and FDA scrutiny, the pharmaceutical company pulled the vaccine from the market in 2002 due to public mistrust. But don't despair. Europe-based biotech company Valneva is taking another crack at developing a vaccine to fill the void. It's known as VLA-15, and it's the only active vaccine program in clinical development against Lyme disease. And for those of us that love to be outside, that can come soon enough. In the meantime, use an EPA-registered insect repellent and know where to expect ticks. Grassy, bushy, and wooded areas. After your adventures, check your clothing and body. Ticks are sneaky and can attach themselves in odd areas like the back of your knee or your belly button. You didn't think to check there, did you? Keep an eye out for the bullseye rash. It begins at the site of the tick bite and gradually expands up to a foot or more. Oh yeah, back to petroleum jelly, nail polish, and the burning match. they are folk remedies that are known to detach the tick from your skin, but it turns out they're actually dangerous. They distress the tick even more, and chances are they may actually increase the risk of getting a tick-borne disease. The best course of action is to remove the tick as quickly as possible. And if you need help with that, simply restart this video. And hey, you're welcome.